Oh, Supreme um, announced the next collaboration footwear they're going to bring out soon. I'm sure you guys are aware of who Supreme are. No need to explain that. What I'm more interested about this whole collaboration, I think I mentioned it the other day on social media. I'm really impressed by how many chances Supreme take in their shoe collaborations. They don't rest on their laurels. They could quite easily go and make a bucket load of cash re-releasing or doing a, a retro of a Jordan 1 to Jordan 5 maybe year in year out and they could just cash out but they always try and challenge or introduce their customer base to newer models to models of old models they've forgotten about and just generally try and put kids on to cool shoes which is essentially what it's essentially the actual antithesis or the you know that's where the culture of sneaker sticker collecting came from the disability to basically put people onto newer shoes it, i remember during a time at crooked tongue some people didn't like to take collections that some people didn't like to take pictures of the collections of their shoes because they didn't want people to spot models that they didn't know about and then suddenly drive the price up for them so they would never post their collection they'd only post stuff that they knew other people knew about and then uh, and then uh, of course when stuff blew up they'd be like oh look i've got a whole collection of archive you know, of vintage air mocks or whatever it may be, right? Resting in my uh, basement somewhere. So I, I always thought that's a really cool aspect of it. But nowadays, you know, everyone seems to be just more bothered about getting something that has the lowest amount of quantities available. I've seen recently, you know, Jeff Staple put out another pigeon um, inspired trainer that, you know, is completely boring and no one cares about. And again, it's limited 30, all this sort of nonsense. So everyone cares about those kind of games, but no one actually cares about collecting shoes for the beauty of the shoe it is, finding something that no one really knows about, making it cool, making it interesting, and suddenly being the cultural influencer that you thought you were by wearing a shoe that no one was going to wear. And you know, that, that internal satisfaction that you get from wearing a shoe and suddenly it's selling out. Like, How happy does Rocky feel? that he wore those flame converses that are on sale everywhere for a while. I've, I had it saved on my um, Shop Tiger, um, what you call it, plugin on my website for ages. He wears them and suddenly they all sell out overnight, right, on all those sites that they're available on. That's where real influence comes from, being able to take a shoe that no one cares about making it look cool as opposed to buying, you know, another Clot Air Force One. I like the Clot guys a lot, but come on, you know, you're not really, there's nothing new there really under the sun. So Supreme kind of taken that adage and they've now kind of teased or somebody has been able to get a hold of a pair of uh, the next kind of collaboration they're going to launch for this season which is an air trainer free um and it's essentially the same sort of color you've seen them do before the the kind of their flip on the gucci colorway i'd say because i've got a pouch there down there somewhere from a couple of years ago no from a few years ago actually that's a similar sort of color pattern so i think it's a gucci color print i'm not too sure but i like the fact that again they're taking an air trainer free low an air trainer i think they've got what was the air trainer is it the s trainer wb that i had previously they didn't do too well so they've supreme have tried doing it before and it hasn't worked out too well for them right they did the air trainer sb before as well that didn't work out either so they're taking a lot of chance of this air trainer but they're really trying to push it and again i just think about the resources supreme have in terms of making night collaborations think about the track record they have in the industry think about the you know yeah, all that stuff, the connections. They could choose any model in the Nike archive to kind of reissue, I'm pretty sure. And Nike are probably more willing to push them in a certain direction, but they don't. They instead put out these kind of shoes, right? This Air Trainer from a few years ago that didn't do too well. I had the black and white pair, but I sold them. Um, and so I had the black and red pair, I didn't have black and white. Um, and, I, and, I, and I was a real big fan of the shoe, but, in, but I think Supreme suffered because the retro of this shoe wasn't anywhere close to the actual OG, which I had a pair of too. So that kind of made things a bit difficult for the actual air training enthusiasts. It didn't do that. Too, it didn't do too well. I'm sure they must have sold out a few of the locations, but overall, not the most. Um, it's not the shoe that you're going to see people wear at sneaker con or wherever those conferences are, right? For the most part. But Supreme are still trying to make it work. So again, I've only got credit. I've only got um, much respect to save with them. Again, no one knows when they're going to come out. What other colors you're going to see? Probably in all black. Probably in all blue a white one in some sort of sense, you know, the, the same sort of color as they do in other shoes. But again, this is just more so in, in uh, a kind of heads up to say, you know, there are brands out there who take the easy road and just do Jordan 1s or just do Air Maxes and Supreme out here operating on the high level and still trying to push kids to buy air trainers even though they don't care about them. So only credit to, uh, I've only given them loads of props and credit for doing that, man. It's a risky move to make, but you know, again, this is what it's about, isn't it? If you want to leave a lasting legacy in the industry, why go for the safe route? Why not kind of do something a little bit out of the blue, something that's a bit out of people's comfort zones? And there's nothing more that's more outside of someone's comfort zone now, especially with the shoes that people are wearing. This looks nothing like what people are wearing. Maybe you could say they're trying to free similar to it, like a dad shoe. 
like a uh, whatever that maybe it's those feelers that girls are wearing or the m what you call it the the, the the technos and stuff that people wear now from nike too but again they're not going to be cheap they're not going to be ready available they look a particular way and the you know, supreme clientele for the most part aren't necessarily going to like the silhouette but nike yes, supreme are still going for it so only i've only got props to give to supreme for doing that so definitely check that out when you when it's available I'm not sure when it's going to come out but we'll find out sooner rather than